This is the Marlin Pond one year overview reading for the year 2025. It's currently August 12th, 2024, 9.06 p.m. Eastern time. Pond at the time of this reading, 0 0.0131222, or just, just over one cent USD. The shuffle video for the Pond 2025 reading was created on February 18th, 2024, at 9.14 p.m. Eastern time. That's a video playing for you in the lower left corner. In this video, we're going to go over the trend behavior for the year of 2025, as well as information about the highest high and the lowest low for the year. We're going to get into the quarter by quarter chart behavior. And then we're going to review the 2024 reading uh, to see how our accuracy did. Uh, keep in mind, we're substantially better than we were when we were doing 2024 readings. Uh, we've done so many since that time. But we'll get into that, so stay tuned to the end of the video. Oh, we also give you, we'll also give you one of the best trades that we see for the year. One of the best swing trades that we see for the year. The full version of this video contains the timing of the highest high and the lowest low, information about each month's high and low, and the week by week chart behavior, as well as all the other trades that we see and any price level information that we're able to extrapolate all in the all in the full, full version but let's get into it so the overall theme of behavior for pond in 2025 is going to be a pop and a drop it looks like we're bound within an important range we're bound within an important range on a multi-year scale behavior around the highest high for the year we have a rally along a diagonal trend line on a multi-day scale breaking through horizontal resistance on a one-year chart scale to meet another resistance same scale and then we pull back to somewhere between those two price levels near the high behavior around the lowest low for the year we have a crest that we sell off from down to and through support and then we do a u-shaped reversal below that support creating the low and we come back and reuse that support level as support when looking at the overall information, just a broad glance, it also seems to be following a pretty similar pattern to a lot of the other altcoin readings that I've done for 2025. Now we'll get into the quarter by quarter chart behavior as well as giving you one of the best trades for the year. But before we do that, I just want to make sure you're aware. The whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. And we do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. It's a threefold agreement between the universe and anybody utilizing this information for personal gain. Nothing wrong with gaining from this information as long as you are simultaneously helping other people. So the way that you do that is you go to our website, Tarot for Traders, to the resources tab, 5% of all profits should be donated forward to a charity and 5% of the profits should be donated back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use this app Wise, which is reliable, or you can use crypto. When you click on the crypto tab, you get all these QR codes. So you can donate in a bunch of different cryptos. It leaves you with 90%. That's way more than a stockbroker would ever leave you with. With that said, guys, make sure to follow through on the rule of karma. As long as you do that, the universe considers you an angel investor in the channel. It's going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. Let's get back into it. The overall chart behavior for Q1, it looks like we have a decline in the early part from like January into February. A lot of the altcoin readings have a significant trough there. And then uh, we, looks like we rally with some mixed behavior around the high for February and January, but overall pretty bullish, it looks like, for the first quarter. The second quarter also pretty pretty mixed, but we, it looks like we end near highs for the quarter. The, uh, Q, Q3 also pretty mixed. We, have, we go from a peak to a trough to a peak, an important peak on a one-year chart scale, and then likely a pretty sharp drop um, from from the September high into the October, November low, um, important trough and important peak. And then looks like Q4 is also bullish. We have a low part for the quarter early on in, in October, November, and then we have a peak for the month or a peak for the quarter for a peak for the fourth quarter in the very end of the month. It looks like a pretty significant move to the upside uh, for Marlin in the, la in the very end of the year. Um, like just in like the last week or so, looks like a pretty big move higher, possibly even a breakout and pushing the upper end of a range higher on a one-year chart scale there. And then the sneak preview for the following year, 2026, looks like we have a prominent peak on a one-year chart on a multi-year scale but more importantly we have the same low or lower low that we did in 2025. all right so the best one of the best trades that i see for the year there's a, there's a lot of trades in here but i'll give you one of them the rest you get in the paid version uh it looks like off of the there'll be like a rally uh, there'll be a rally on a multi-day scale in early january you want to take advantage of that rally by opening up a short position and closing that short position probably near the very end of the month of january near low a lot of price change there off of the off the January high. And when you close that short position, you want to do so after there's a failed attempt to break through a resistance level that we expect to break through on a technical chart kind of scale or a technical chart sort of perspective we'd expect to break through it. But instead we we maybe poke through it momentarily, but we we de we fail to break through and we decline through key support into the low for January. That after that type of behavior, that's where I would look to enter into. Uh, a long close a short position and enter into a long position and I'll close a long position in February and February size so out of a decline in early February there should be a fast sudden fire ending the decline and taking us into the high it'll be a big move reaching for distant resistance on a, on a one-year chart scale so whatever the next critical resistance it should go past that one and that's where you would want to exit before we go any further let's take a look at see how we're doing for 2024 thus far so we have a highest high thus far in February looks like that came to fruition a highest high thus far in March looks like that ends up being the high um, at least thus far and then in May, we had this lowest low thus far. You can see how that panned out before a prominent peak. I had it as a highest high in June. 
doesn't look like it ended up being a high as high. It was a pretty significant move to the upside there, though. And what, what it also indicates is that off the June high, that sideways fluctuating decline, it, it precedes a notable rally. So that's important to point out. Um, another significant low in July. And then we have another low here in August and, and then a lowest low in September. And then there's a lot of in indication of like a really notable move to the upside, taking us to a highest high, uh, which we probably see twice in the last quarter. And that might be price swings back and forth between highs and lows there going into the fourth quarter and throughout the fourth quarter, hard to say, but this is this is a pretty solid reading. So one of the, the main trades from the paid, one of the main trades from the paid version was uh, to open up a short position at this peak and all right, from the January low, which was within close time proximity to a prominent peak on a one-year chart scale. And you can see there it is right there with the January low offering opportunity to open up a long position. And then we closed the long position in the February high. And that would have been a really solid trade. That would have been like, it would have been close to hundred percent for this, for this Empress card to really play out uh, accurately, I think what we'd need to see is this sideways fluctuating decline preceding a notable rally um, near the low there, um, in which case we probably would go higher than the June high. Do we go higher than the June high in 2024? Looks like we go back to the June high. Yeah, it looks like we probably revisit those th that price range, around that price range. Don't, don't wait for an exact price, like, you know, within a range, right? But around that, that, that high there back in June, uh, most likely we revisit that overall pretty solid reading the 2024 marlin reading was created february 18th 2024 at 903 p.m eastern time that's the public version of marlin pond for 2025 let me know what you think by hitting that like button as always make sure to follow that rule of karma you know where to go you know what to do blessings to all my angel investors stay tuned if you got the paid version if you're interested in the paid version it's a really great way to support the channel the way that you do that it's already been ordered so you go to our services as a post scroll down to one year report click your order and if you click on choose one they're discounted because they've already been done roughly like a 48 hour turnaround you basically just pick whichever one you want there's some 2025s in there as well and there'll be some 2026s in there pretty soon as we release them as people order customs or we put out 20, we put out one years we add them to the list you can order any of them here at a discounted price or if you're interested in a ticker that we're not covering or crypto that we're not covering click on one year report click your order click on custom report specify the year specify the ticker of crypto add the cart great way to the channel well undervalued or underpriced i should say and the, the final way that you can go about getting the, the one year report for one of our total access members is our top tier subscription you go to sm post scroll down to total access click your order this gets you access to the paid version of basically everything that we have all of the one years that we have and as they come new ones come out you get the access to all of those and you also get access to the monthly uh, paid versions of the monthlies that regularly come out every month as well as any one-offs that people order that we throw out there all of that you get with the total access subscription best way to support the channel much appreciation everybody does that love you guys let's get back into it